Hello everyone, Mike Lovelace with Carolina Blue Smoke Barbecue. And man, July is here now, but for Father's Day in June, I had one of the best Father's Day gifts ever given to me. We were going on a cruise the Monday after Father's Day, but that Sunday of, my wife and I and my son Anthony, we went to Rodney Scott's Whole Hog Barbecue in Charleston, South Carolina, and it did not disappoint. I got to take my hat off to Rodney Scott's Barbecue and the staff there. Incredible meal we had. But what I want to show you guys here on Carolina Blue Smoke Barbecue is a behind the scenes tour of how they get it done. And they are one of the few whole hog barbecue places on the East Coast in South Carolina. Rodney's opening up chains all over, but he's still keeping things back to the basics of coal underneath a whole hog and smoking barbecue meat right. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you like what we're doing. This is only our third video, but we have over 100 plus uh, videos from Lovey's Fat Life, which was Lovey's Barbecue, which is whoop, that side. Uh, but hey, we got plenty of reverse flow smoking, pit smoking, griddling, uh, pellet grills, and then Blackstones as well. So please come with us and watch this behind the scenes tour with a pit master. She was doing an awesome job. Thank you. Okay. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? How are you? Good, how about yourself? I have waited to video this for a long time. So you can see it's very busy in Father's Day. Yeah, I can. We're from North Carolina. I have a uh, I have a barbecue, a small barbecue business on the side, a catering. Yeah, I, I use a reverse flow smoker, not not what he's got here, but I like these wood burning. That's awesome. I haven't seen the Netflix stuff, but I followed him for many, many years, probably 15, 20 years. I mean, back when his father and him was, and I knew his father raised him, but that's awesome. Well, you know, I'm, I'm from North Carolina. Yeah, a little bit, but you can tell me on this for this video because I we have a food and travel channel, and I'm gonna. Are you from Western North Carolina? I'm from Western. I, I know yeah, Eastern more know. Sam Jones. No, I'm from around Winston Salem or Lexington. They call it Lexington okay. style barbecue. Okay. So what's the sauce made out? I'm tell you what, how I make mine. I sell it. <laughs> Rodney wouldn't like it, but it's a cup of ketchup. It's tomato base. Yes, ketchup, uh, a cup of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. A little bit of red pepper, a tad of cayenne pepper, a little bit of brown sugar, and salt and pepper. So minus the ketchup, you have rocky sauce. Right. I know the eastern side just takes the kiss. In North Carolina, the eastern side just takes that out. But. Well, it's based, it's based on, I mean, this style of barbecue is based on the history of South Carolina. Right. It's based on what was cooked there, what they used to cook there. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what they had was vinegar and sugar because they made sugar. Right. So um, the way that Rodney works is that Originally, his father had this gigantic burn barrel. Uh -huh. It was as big as one of these kids. Yeah. Five times as tall. And it would burn the wood, cook over the weekend, and then sell everything out. Right. But we're open seven days a week. So All we right. We have a burn barrel. But we do burn wood, and we use a hardwood charcoal as an accelerant. Yes. And so this is underneath the hog. Uh-huh. It's all oak. All oak, okay. It's local. It doesn't really matter Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to do one side for now. Yes, ma'am. And then I would load some right here. Did he have these? These are custom made for him then, these no, pits? No, these are different. They're not custom made. They're made by this company and they make them for lots of people. Right, okay. I mean, these barbecue pits are just the same as a hole in the ground, except it's not a hole in the ground. It's a, 
that's how we do it back home and we do a full pig we just take cinder blocks and uh, do a cinder block one and uh, right it's more of this there's more skill of this right here and placing it in there and keeping the temperature right and also because as you can see all of our gauges are different some right. are broken the reality is kind of like the color of the skin here uh-huh more tobacco color than this that's what it will look like when it's done but it's like, you know, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. Are they? Okay. Uh, Drive this range and wait anywhere from 150 to 180. Okay. Any bigger, there's too much fat, too much bone. Any smaller, we always get the same yield for the most part. Right. We're getting the, we pay for the heads, we're getting them with the heads, we started putting them with the heads, and we find that it's juicier or there's more. Okay. Fat So I gotta see your famous mop, your mop right there, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm a French trained chef. I've been at a barbecue person. I've been here a year. Yeah, stuck during the pandemic. But to be honest, it's much more efficient than a lot. Yeah. I agree. So, that's. We don't see from the hogs until they're done. Okay. So, this is what we use to mop the ribs. And then you really close that is awesome. Those ribs, I had the ribs today, okay. and I told my wife, and I, you know, I live in North Carolina, and we think we're, we we own barbecue, but those are the best best ribs I've ate in public at a restaurant, in my opinion. That was by far the star today, in my opinion. It was all great, but the ribs were just incredible. The ribs are really good. They're really good. What I like to do the best the Have that bend. Have to be done. Yeah. And these are done. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, North, North Carolina is, I was telling the, the lady, the general manager, North Carolina is known to be a battle. East of Raleigh is whole, whole hog. West is shoulders and Boston bucks. Well, we, in addition to the shoulders and the Boston bucks, we use the ribs, the belly meat, the neck meat, yes. and the meat. Yes. So that's why the whole hog uh, flavor is very different. Right. Um, and, it's good. Your pulled pork sandwich is really good, too. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, that's what, I, I really think that's our special secret. We, use, we only use the offset. Is this for the, the turkey? Brisket, no, for brisket. Briskets? I had turkey on the Oh, so that's a whole hickory. Wings, and brisket. Yeah. Okay. Your chicken wings are great, too. My wife actually was her favorite. Yeah, so that's what we use the offset for. Okay. And then we use the offset for the meat. Yeah. Because it's really good. Yeah. Because it's not really the same thing. Yeah. It's not really the well, the old hickories are some of the greatest machines now. Yeah. Oh, it's not as great. Very expensive. It's got a lot of issues. Right. But anyway, this is awesome. It's interesting that you say, like, you know, the east does this and the west does this. I would say that humankind has been barbecuing meat. Yes. Over wood for 20,000 years. Yep. And in fact, the more research I've done, it was Native Americans who mm -hmm. taught the enslaved when they arrived how to cook meat. Like digging a hole in the ground, putting leaves, branches on top, putting leaves on top. So, that's like Hawaii, they still do that. Yeah, and that's it's just, everywhere. right, right. And I'm from Virginia, and that's how they do it. <laughs> so, um, we're, we're just keeping on. It's a feeling tradition. So, it's not easy to have to Right. It's a human That's right. So, people from North Carolina, they come from a place called Old Hog Alabama. Yeah. And they actually have a place called Old Hog yeah, I, I was hearing that Sam Jones helps. Does he own that company or does he just have a connection with it? All of our hogs, all four of our restaurants come from that one farm. That's awesome. It's not an industrial farm. It is a regular farm. So from what I understand, I hope I'm not misstating anything. Yeah. Right. But it's a regular farm. I mean, our ribs come from it. Yeah, those are much bigger than 100 pounds. I've seen 100 pound ones before. That's, yeah. Wait, 155, 152, 158, 158, yeah. So it's not there in the 180s, but that's very difficult to do. Right. Um, but they're raised, and everything on this farm is full hog. We don't get anything else from that, but the whole food. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Y
That's awesome. And that's Rodney's salt, uh, seasoning that which y'all put on your ribs. Salt and pepper. One of his out there, I could tell had a ton, had a lot of paprika in it. I could tell um, one of his seasons did. That's this one, and then uh, he has the hot one that's spicier. Right. Okay. Well, I don't know. It's I mean, it, it's not right time. <laughs> it's just good. That's what matters. It's good. Yeah, but I know. But, um, I mean, I think the most interesting thing that I have learned is that the barbecue cook here is based on the ingredients that were available. Yeah, back in the day. That's right. I mean, even pepper was mm -hmm. so, I mean, they might have thrown red pepper in the box, but that is So that, in North Carolina, my research in there has said that the reason they use a lot of, especially western part of North Carolina, was when the Germans came and settled. Right. They were known for shoulders and right. and um, and Boston butts. Versus the eastern part of North Carolina was the entire hall. They used to say the rooter to the tutor, you use the whole thing, you know, so they it didn't matter. They were going to use everything right. and, and and not, you know, just use certain parts. But, but also, Western North Carolina had a lot of Scottish people, mm -hmm. a lot of healthy people, so they didn't use that much pork. Right. They just were eating the lamb, probably. I told you I was going to come back here. I love it. I love it. I could stay here all day, man. I know what I need to do when I retire, right? I need to retire and do this. We've got some jobs. <laughs> Well, I, I use a reverse flow smoker. It's um, you have a firebox on one end, you put your wood in, kind of like that right there. Nice menu, ma'am. And then the the smoke and the heat come the full length of the grill at the other end, then comes up, and then the smoke and heat comes over it from a direction, and then back out one side. So there's a firebox down here. Uh huh. Now I've got a vertical. I got a vertical smoker like that. Yep. But you know, none of this food tastes smoked. The, the pork doesn't taste smoked. The nah. rice doesn't taste smoked. It's cooked over wood. It's mm -hmm. a really different thing. In my restaurant, I have my Aztec grill, which is a wood burning grill, which is just like a grill. But it's um, comfort protector, but it's designed so that it doesn't burn a lot of wood, so everything does taste smoked. Nah. Slightly smoked. Not, I mean, it doesn't taste like bacon, but it's slightly smoked. But this is coal as opposed to wood. So we had pieces of burning wood underneath to the case smoker. Right. But we never put wood underneath. We always put just put the coal the whole coal, coal, coal straight on. I mean this is our hardwood charcoal. It's not it's not a Do y'all cook twenty four seven then? So you well, never run out of you ever run charcoal? I mean you never run out of uh, coal. Well when I leave tonight at ten thirty, I'll fire up we only have one hog on for tomorrow. I'll fire it up and it'll be hot it's hot outside, so it'll right. be hot. But then my colleagues come in at 5 in the morning and they'll start another fire. Ah, so every day starts out. Okay, gotcha. I mean, if we had a need to do it all night long, we would Right. Well, this has been awesome. I cannot thank you enough. Oh, you're very welcome. Nice I, 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 I love, no, I love it. I mean, I, if I, I've told my wife if something happens with my current job that uh, I do it just on the side now for weddings. and But if it ever happened... I would move to Florida and do a little food truck and cook all night and let somebody else sell it during the daytime. I, I, I've tended fires all night long, most of my life, and I I love it. It's just it's in your blood. There's a, there's a great uh, barbecue place in New York City in Red in Red Hook. Uh-huh. And it's called Hometown, and this is Ted Tommy. That might have been some of the best barbecue in the country. Really? He's out every night. It's gigantic, it's gorgeous. Like, you're out in, in Red Hook. That's right. That's a good show. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for checking out this tour behind the scenes at Rodney Scott's Whole Hog Barbecue. If you get a chance to check this out, definitely do it. And if they're offering tours, it's definitely well worth it if you are a barbecue enthusiast like myself. Please like and subscribe to our channel, Carolina Blue Smoke Barbecue and Outdoor Cooking. We got some more videos coming your way, but I definitely wanted to show you this one.